What's up people, how are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Some excellent news folks, there's finally here, the iCloud untethered, fully untethered bypass for T2 MacBooks. You got it people, it's finally here, okay? So, first off, what I need to point out is, if you're already an existing customer with a MacBook that currently has the tethered version, you can basically connect it to your other MacBook and simply re-bypass it, yeah, and make it fully untethered without losing anything. So I'm gonna show you that bit first for those of you who are who already have tethered bypasses yeah and then i'll show you for the people who basically have the activation lock and they haven't done the bypass yet okay so as you should know if you're familiar with this then cable goes second one down right people second one down on both devices right First of all, I'm going to show you that this Mac, the Target Mac here, yeah, is iCloud activation locked. And it is on a tethered bypass, simply by holding down the power key to shut it off, okay? Right. So now, when I press the power key, it's going to go to the activation lock. So Checkmate basically released this earlier today <clears throat> uh, to confirm for the record is Tuesday the 22nd of October 2024. Okay, activate Mac. So as you know, with the tethered you do this and then next you put in your, your passcode And as you can clearly see, go straight to the activation lock. Right, okay. So now on this computer, what you want to do is go on the so head over to your launch pad, go to the download checkmate checkmate mac os t2 and there we go as you can see it's asking for an update open site do 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 there we go and simply there click download let it download a sec so and as well because we've using the tethered service as you know it was only 60 us dollars and now it's no longer tethered you now got it untethered folks of course if you're new and you're going to be doing um you're going to be doing it fresh from the beginning and you haven't basically done the bypass and it's not registered on Checkmate's database yet. I'm going to show you that step by step now. Uh, with that, it was 100 US dollars, but it's now 90 US dollars. And a bit of, bit of advice, word to the wise. When you get this untethered, okay, folks, 
turn off your software updates and make sure you keep it untethered, okay? Uh, and yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, so it's for all Macs with the T2 chipset. So it could be a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, it could be an iMac, uh, Mac Mini, covers basically all of them with, of course, the T2 chipsets, which range from 2018 to 2020. Okay, that was a bit of a long download, but let's make this magic happen, shall we? Okay, install. Okay, close out of this now. And now let's reopen the program. Excellent. Now we want to connect it into a DFU state. So like I said at the beginning with the cables, make sure they're in the second one down, in the port, second one down on both devices, both target and host Mac, okay? So now on the target Mac, what you want to do, right? You want to press power, shift, option, control. All four keys at the same time, okay? So let's do this. All right. As you can see, stage one in progress. Stage two in progress. Press start, and as you can see, product version bridge 9.0, latest bridge OS, Sequoia. You got it, people. Now, start. There we go. Successfully bypassed. Successfully bypassed. So now, what we're going to do? Target Mac. Press the power key. Okay, so to show you now this is fully untethered, yeah, and whatever you've got on your device, you haven't lost a thing, right? I'm going to show you that this is now fully untethered, okay? So basically, just like I did just now, hold down the power key and let go. And now, press it. check that done fully untethered done okay so <clears throat> that is basically for those of you who have already done the tethered bypass and you're stuck on the tethered bypass okay now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to basically move on <clears throat> i'm going to basically move on to people who have new computers Okay, oh, yeah, that's um, that's a minor, ignore that because I've done it straight away. Yeah, don't worry about that. All right, so 
Now I've showed you the tethered, um, the fix, sorry, for the tethered. I'm now going to show you for basically the, um, if you're on the um, activation lock and it hasn't been added. So, you know, whether you're a new customer or, you know, you're not a new customer, but you have a new MacBook, okay? That is what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, people. So for those of you who are doing new devices, so basically devices that haven't been bypassed yet, <clears throat> this is for you. Okay, so to start off, <clears throat> what you need to do is download a program from the Mac App Store on obviously your host Mac and that is called Apple Configurator, okay? Download Apple Configurator, open it. What you wanna do then is put this device in DFU mode and basically click Actions and Restore soon as it's detected in DFU mode. I'm not gonna show you in this because I haven't got the time to basically get it done. So, but there, there are a lot of videos on YouTube, plenty actually, showing you how to restore the bridge operating system on a T2 MacBook, okay? Now, it's important to update the bridge OS because if the bridge OS is old, then it's not, you can't do it, it's gonna cause a lot of problems. Do you see what I mean? So by restoring it through Apple Configurator, updates the bridge operating system. Okay, so Apple Configurator, restore. Once you're done with that, what you wanna do then is head over to your browser and you wanna go on this website, checkmate.info. Scroll down. Left side, Mac OS activation lock bypass tool. Okay. Read a little bit about it first if you want. And once you're good with that, simply click download. So now let it download. If you are on your T2 MacBook, fully untethered, might I add, on the latest Mac OS Sequoia, <clears throat> this is the way to do it. And hats off to Checkmate for bringing, bringing it out. You know, we have been waiting a little while for it, but sometimes it can take longer, so to speak. So, okay. Now we want to double click and just install. Okay, that's the bin. You can just close out on your browser now. Head into your launch pad and Open it up, but Mac OS T2 is right there. Can't miss it. Excellent. Now, cables. Second one down, like I said earlier in the video. Second one down on each one, okay? So now... <clears throat> 
Again, we're going to put this device, the Target Mac, in DFU mode using power, right shift, option control, okay? Sometimes it fails the first time. If it does, don't matter. Just let go of the keys and then press them down again. There we go. This is what we want. As you can see, stage one in progress, stage two in progress. Bingo. And as you can see, it's on the latest bridge 9.0. At this stage, what will happen is a page, a payment page will pop up, like an order form. And all it will ask you for is your, your name, email address. And to get a discount off, use my promo code, okay? That'll get you a discount off. My promo code is iCloudHelper029. Okay, it's right there on the screen. Yeah, iCloudHelper029, all one word. Plain sight, done. And then you click buy now. And then once you've basically gone through the checkout, it'll bring you here. And what you want to do then is simply click start. So let the bypass commence. We got it fully untethered, people. Fully untethered on Sequoia. Look at that. Bypass is complete. Excellent. It's just what we want. Okay. Now, now the bypass is done, what you want to do, okay? So now on the target Mac, <clears throat> what's important here are the keys, yeah? So you press power and you've got options. If you use command and R, <clears throat> when it goes to the Mac OS recovery, it'll bring up the old, the default Mac OS, which will be either High Sierra, Mojave, or Catalina. But if you use Command Option and R, like I'm gonna do now, when it goes to the Mac OS recovery, it will bring up the latest one being Sequoia. So I'm gonna press, so here we go, power, Command option R, these three keys at the same time. And as you can tell, the chime kicked in, so the bypass is a good one. Excellent. So now, what I'm going to do is connect to Wi Fi. At this stage, you just connect to Wi Fi. You could disconnect that if you want from your previous Mac, it's fine. At this stage, connect to your Wi Fi, wait for it to load and it'll go to the Mac OS recovery, okay? Okay, people. So, after connecting to Wi-Fi, going through the internet recovery, be advised, <clears throat> yours might fail a couple of times, you might get a few error codes on your internet recovery, but keep at it and eventually it'll work. You could get it right the first time, the third time, the fifth time, the tenth time. <clears throat> In some cases, people have tried people have had to try it like 20, 30 times. Hopefully that's not going to be the case for you. Anyway, so once you've done that, you go straight here to the Mac OS recovery. And what you want to do then is go on to uh, make sure your device is connected to Wi-Fi. 
and you want to go on to your disk utility okay and as you can see because i used uh the keys uh, command option and r as you can see we have the latest mac os sequoia okay so disk utility and continue okay now by here where it says view right you want to show all devices and then the top one top left that one there yeah and then erase and so you've got untitled apfs guid partition map right you could change the name if you want so i'll keep mine as untitled but if you want you can change yours the name but don't change don't change the format or the scheme don't leave them to as they are right so i'll leave mine there and simply go ahead and erase the partition if the partition fails in red then you're erasing the wrong one okay uh, so it's formatting great that worked successfully and so done brilliant stuff so now now that's done what you want to do close go on here uh be sure to connect your macbook charger in make sure it's on charge whilst performing the installation of the mac os okay okay let's got that and continue Continue. Fully intended, people. We got it. It's here. It's here. Yeah. You've got to go into disk utility first and erase the disk. Because if you don't erase the disk, there won't be a disk available to install the mac os on do you see what i'm saying so it's important you know step by step people that's it slowly steady wins the race right there it is see that's the one we're going to select now if i didn't go into disk utility and erase it it wouldn't show that there you know so we'll do that continue right now it's installing the mac os and yeah once it's finished installing we'll proceed through the setup at this stage keep it on charge no matter what okay people now the installation is complete let's go through the setup connect to Wi-Fi sir Are you ready? Bingo. Straight to data and privacy. <clears throat> Look at that, you can even migrate as well. Fully untethered. On the latest Mac OS Sequoia. Sorry about the brightness, just, um, 
Okay, so just set up your account. Check that. Fully untethered on the latest Mac OS Sequoia. So, main thing I'd like to point out, okay? Go into system settings. You got yourself a fully untethered year, folks, okay? Keep it that way, right? Very important. Software update, okay? But it's got automatic updates. Turn them off. Okay. Turn all the updates off. I mean, it's already on Sequoia. So you are good. All fully activated. Sign into iCloud. Do whatever you want. Absolutely anything you want. So I'll show you that it is fully untethered by basically holding down the power key to turn it off and then pressing it, simply turn it back on. No more tethered people, tethered is gone. But like I said, very important. Software updates off. Cause it's an iCloud bypass, see? And that goes the same for iOS devices as well, you know? Always turn the software updates off. Better to be safe than sorry. So if I just go into about, and as you can clearly see there, MacBook Pro, Mac OS Sequoia version 15.0.1. There it is. Fully activated, fully untethered, could do literally everything and anything all activated all good if you found this video has helped smash that like be sure to share and also smash the subscribe i got loads of content on you and i got plenty more content to come thanks for your time folks this is mark the icloud helper coming to you from cardiff city Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.